Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Firewatch. Last time on Firewatch, we got knocked out. We picked up a radio. Let's, let's go and we will recreate it for you. We go up here, we pick up like a clipboard. And it said all the stuff that we've been like talking about for the last 24 hours. Okay. And then we go over here. And we pick up a radio. It had something on the back, but hadn't we read it? And then we got knocked out. We got knocked out, guys. So we're trying to actually go and find out what this is, cause yeah, it's 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 creepy. It's, I even made my uh. Fingers a little bit twitchy. I'm trembling. I'm trembling, guys. I'm a little bit scared. I don't know what this is about. Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. Uh, murder in first class. Trans American thriller. Okay, not not a book that I would be yeah reading. Sadly, I don't I don't really read those. Ah, uh, you just just throw everything away, don't you? It's a book. Put it in the thing. Drop. Okay, fine. I I I give up. Copy information. So we should have our map updated. And there's an old sweater in here. Okay. And we have no tolerance to books, apparently. We just throw them outside. They get rained on and then they get horrible. Yeah, books that they've left outside in the rain. Uh, yeah, and non-read readable. Okay, so tracks... Okay, so we need to actually check our map. Okay, so we need to go back up and then, yeah. Okay, so... Fence. Alright, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Get through. Even they've got the the sounds of the gate. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Okay, so can we do something? Use rock. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Okay. Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay, so we need to... Where was it? Where is our thing? Ruby... Ruby River? Where? Where? Oh, Ruby River. Okay, so we've got to go all the way down here. If we get down here and there's no, like, thing, I'll be like, oh! No! <laughs> Control burn. Okay, we should be able to find it. Okay. Is that a path over here? Did we do this? Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. 
Eventually, you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Oh, okay. So, Chimney Rock is over there. Okay. But, how we, how we, like, I thought they were from Chimney Rock. Let's go over to the waterfall. Waterfall! So pretty! Hey, do you know anything about this waterfall down here? I don't. Uh, we've got one over here that's 150 feet tall. One upper. People snowmobile in during the winter to ice climb it. I am not one of those people. <laughs> yeah. I figure there's enough normal ways to die. Agreed. Okay, so... I, I, I swear you could spend like at least 30 hours in this game and not get bored like <laughs> and you didn't need to do any of these things you could have just gone and explored the game itself like that's how powerful this game is really is I feel almost calm in this game, and that's really like I miss trees. I too miss trees. Okay. Where I called around, things seem normal with everyone else. Okay. Should we call the cops or the forest service and and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Ski big tree. We can't report the ski at the big tree. Okay, that just seems out of I don't place. Like feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. What is going on? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. 
That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Weird. Okay. I, I don't know why they think that weird. Snowboat meals? What? Really? Okay, no mind. If they're not surprised, then I'm not surprised. Okay? A scout camp. Camp. The bridge to the camp is out. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Okay. Yep. Space bar, long drop. Okay, so... This looks overgrown as all hell. Though saying that, hell's probably not overgrown. What the hell? I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If... If anyone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask them to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. That say anything of note? Uh... Next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that... That, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Horn toads? Oh, no, probably just horn toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should Shit. consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but... My gut says that there is something bad going on. Oh my god. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Yeah. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for Shit. Anyone following you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> I don't know. That is strange. That is so strange. Uh, kids, don't be paranoid about, uh, yeah. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Why, you don't think you're going to end up on a milk carton, do you? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD day hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> can't clear it okay we can't clear box area yet yet doesn't mean that we can um we axe take 
Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. Pulaski. Be a huge help. For both getting through the back country and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, okay, so we could clear this out. Oh my god! Watch out for your heads! My god! That guy doesn't know how to use an axe. I'm sorry. I know how to use an axe and... Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor tree. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Tree! I'm sorry! <laughs> we need to find out hey what's happening. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Whoa. Guys. It's day 77. This is insane! No! Oh. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. She's Hello, disappeared. Sunshine. Oh, Sorry. good. Went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Oh my god. Um. Why are you so chipper? Last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, alright. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that... Maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Okay. Um. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm calling it here, guys. Uh. This is episode 5 of, of Firewatch. Um, firstly, we got hit over the head. <laughs> For the next episode. We got hit over the head. We we uh, found missing the firemen had gone. But there is a research station that we don't know about. So, if you liked it, leave a like. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Um, we will be doing more Firewatch, for sure. This game is so exciting! I... I...
it's like the cost between exciting and insane. But I'll see you later for the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.